My name is Christopher Reed Flock, um, and I'm one of the instructors at Dundas Valley School of Art. Ceramics at uh, DVSA has been in around for just over 40 years. Some of our early programs are called Pottery for the Petrified, to learn very quickly um, that it's actually not that scary at all. At the moment people come into the studio, particularly the clay studio, um, find that um, it's easy enough to realize that the clay is very much like using Play-Doh or plaster seam. Um, so some of the early projects that we like to work on are uh, straightforward hand building uh, projects. One of the exciting aspects of using clay is of course everyone's um, idea of trying out the wheel uh, for a variety of reasons. So once the pots come out of the studio, we then allow the pots to dry for several days. Then we place them into a kiln for several hours on end, and this first uh, firing is referred to as disc. The clay still has some porosity to it, so this is very important for the second stage of working with, uh, with the ceramic piece, in that uh, we want to apply a glaze. Once the pot is dried again, we put the pots into a second firing, and then over a period of a couple of days after the kilns have cooled, they're brought out for uh, participants to uh, enjoy their new pieces as well as learn from what steps has taken them to get to that point. And most of our faculty have their own unique design, their own unique flavor, and they bring that colorful energy into the school that uh, makes it a very unique uh, place to, to study and, and, uh, and try new things. Uh, it's, it's remarkable to see people come in and find that inner child, but also find the seriousness as well at the same time investigating process and allowing themselves to really define that in the journey and putting a memory into play with that.